Uh, so we're kind of, I don't know, we're aviation. We, we're experienced. We at least not. We had to have some experience to talk from some some uh, previous um, uh, operations and as you said, helicopters and airplanes. So mm -hmm. um, when we comment on things that are in the aerospace industry, we have some level of experience with that. Again, we're not claiming to know everything about everything when we talk about this. Right. Uh, but uh, that's partly why you guys are here. You guys might be in different industries. We're happy to have a conversation. But anyway, that being said, we like to just kind of give our, uh, Thought. our our thoughts on it. And wow, it's legit caught to my yeah. shoe there. Caught to your shoe. Live location okay, shooting. So we have a bunch of cables, wires, and how the heck? This is like those little <laughs> hitchhiker uh, plants that there stick you to your shoes. <laughs> Great. That's Good neat. times were had by all. All right, let's yes, check this yes, off. Yes. So we know the rockets. We're waiting. We're standing by. We have about a half an hour or so before the rocket goes. So before that happens, yeah. I'm going to just dig into the uh, first topic that we have today. Do it. Which is basically, uh, looks like Xbox Cloud Gaming is now available for Apple devices. And I can tell you, quite honestly, I did try it this morning. Uh, and it actually works, but it's not as good as people would assume. So if you're not familiar, if you are an Ultimate Pass subscriber, it is no longer in the beta phase. Anybody can go to the website, which is currently open for all. Just log in, <clears throat> use your Xbox credentials, get yourself a controller if you're on some sort of device that's not a gaming system. Obviously, if you're on a gaming system, there's no point. And go in and try the gaming as an experience in a cloud. And Microsoft has been working on this for a long time. A lot of streaming services have been make or break over the last three years, and Microsoft has been, I guess, perfecting its ability to use the Android environment and hadn't really given iOS devices the ability to jump in on the action. Now, it's only browser-based at this time. They don't have an application up, but hey, man, uh, you know what? I tried it, and I can say mixed results because trying to play MLB The Show, uh-uh, didn't work, wasn't very good. But other titles that aren't screen-intensive, like Astroneer and things of that nature, yep. actually worked pretty well. Wasn't a lot of lag. It wasn't a lot of latency. So... There's a lot there, and so you're an Android guy, but you don't have Pass Ultimate. But that's true. Yeah. What about what do you think this means for the uh, the streaming environment as a whole? I mean, we've talked before about the cloud gaming, mm -hmm. um, and in there we were obviously I'm I'm talking about not just um, Xbox's cloud gaming, but there's sure. other things like Shadow PC and other other services where literally you don't even need to buy your own computer if you guys are gamers out there and you. Um, are willing to maybe pay for a subscription to have access over a fast internet connection to the latest equipment. Yep. You can literally have your uh, 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 a gaming computer you have access to over internet. Right. Um, that'll always be updated through various services. Uh, you know, then you can just kind of Google search. We're not affiliated with any. I'm just kind of throwing some out. Shadow gaming and things like that. So um, they're out there. Um, but I have Xbox on there. You know, we commented too in the past that. Microsoft has a bit of the infrastructure to back up some of their oh, yeah. uh, some of their cloud gaming pursuits, and they, for me, I can see them wanting to to realize people still like to game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, pandemic helped some people with that too, right? But the fact that not everybody is gonna want to buy the latest and greatest equipment, whether it's because they can't afford it or because they can't get their hands on it. Well, that's with the other shortages, thing. right? <laughs> so uh, shortages for you know people like myself, I am still. Trying to find a 3080 that's not crazy expensive. Yeah, you and me both. And because um, then I'll build a new PC and whatnot. But anyway, you get the idea. But but that's that's how it goes. So there you go. It is. It's interesting because you know for for Xbox to finally do this for the iOS users, and I don't know. Look, the iOS base is a pretty strong base, and I know that there's a lot of iOS gamers out there that really wanted this application sooner. They didn't get it. They got it now. Yeah. We'll see how well it plays out. But Xbox. Actually, the people in Microsoft just recently came out and said that they have not dropped building better consoles, but they are focusing more on the cloud services. And this was something that we covered about three weeks ago, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. uh, them saying that, look, they've got something in the works. And my guess is, is that, like Corey said, because they have one of the largest cloud infrastructures yeah. out there, they're probably going to ramp up this service to the point of perfection. So we'll see what they get uh, in the not-too-distant future because, um, hey, just remember, if their service ever gets too hot, uh, we could turn around and, oh, James, what are you saying? You shouldn't jump on Call of Duty on it? No. Yeah. Actually, James, you shouldn't because, honestly, it's not ready for prime time yet. Now, look, here's the other thing. That's what I, I was saying about before about cloud gaming. Yeah. With some of the, the latency, and depending on your connection, but not even withstanding the latency, right? Right. If you can just take for a second, if you're not familiar with how this mic kind of works, 
you're still going to have a physical interface of some kind on your end, mm -hmm. whether it's just a controller or whatever, that has to take your inputs that you make with your hands, shoot it over the internet, it goes to wherever it goes, through all the nodes, and does the computing on that end, and that has to come back to you. Yes. So there is, I, I've, everyone I've tried, there's always some level of There's lag. latency. There's a lot. And, and yeah. I was telling Mike, and Mike's probably going to say it too, any first-person shooters, anything that's like actually straight competitive where where really split-second decisions matter, it's a giant no for me right now. I still... For sure. Uh, um, yeah. And let's, let's, put, let's put it this way. My test bed was the... X, the uh, I tried the Xbox app in the browser, as they suggested, on the brand-new iPad Pro 12.9 M1 with the HDR screen. Looks great. Had the Xbox controller, Bluetooth controller connected. It was fantastic as far as, like I said, Certain games look good. Now, I'll tell you straight up, it's not a one-for-one -one graphics situation. Transparency levels weren't the same. You could see little micro-dotting in, in certain transparency areas. So there's a lot of work for them to do. However, uh, hopeful for the future that they're going to get the quote-unquote bugs worked out and move things along. So there's that. Um, mm -hmm. And directly after uh, that... Nice. A little bit less wind. Yeah, the... You guys must have done something on your end, because I was complaining about the wind, and now it's just calmed out. You know why? So, Oh, that, because it's all switching direction? Yeah, it's yeah. All... yeah it's, going, it's getting sucked up by that. Yep. Yeah, let's hope not. Let's continue. Uh, okay, so wait, I have to say this. <laughs> the reason why the wind would shift is if it was suddenly not coming on shore anymore, mm -hmm. that means low pressure just started to form over the top of us, and that means all the wind is going to go up, which means we're going to get a thunderstorm right mm -hmm. on top of yeah, us. over there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. But Corey's dead on accurate that the wind literally 